Hey guys, welcome. My name is Evan Arnolda. I'm a uh, photographer and a graphic designer. I uh, created this channel to um, inspire, motivate and teach other creatives, especially uh, new creatives or beginner creatives. Uh, by creating little how-to videos in uh, for Photoshop and sharing uh, some um, inspirational photography. Don't forget if you're new to this channel to please subscribe and click on that bell icon to be notified of more uh, videos coming soon. Um, in this video I want to show you how I created this double exposure image. So this is the final image and uh, to how, how do I get to this point and uh, let's get started. So I'm going to hide this uh, layer and I'm going to reveal this layer. This is the image one or the base image I'm going to start with. I'm going to first go by adding a uh, black and white um, layer. So I'm going to go to adjustments layer and then click on the black and white filter. Now as you can see the um, the model looks a bit washed out, a bit too bright. So what I'm going to do is darken it a little bit by go to presets, uh, presets and clicking on maximum black. Now the next step is I'm going to remove the model from this background. So I'm going to select image one or the base image, click on a magnetic lasso tool and select uh, the model. Go around the model with the tool. Now, for the purpose of this video, I am going a little bit quick. Uh, when it comes to yours, just take your time, maybe even zoom in for a better selection. And that's it. Once you do that, you go up here to uh, click on select and mask. I'm happy with the selection. I mean, I can make any further adjustments here. Also, I'll make more adjustments in the next step. Make sure that the output settings are set to new layer with layer mask. Click OK. So here's the new layer with the layer mask. Now, as you can see, there's just too much taken away. I need to bring that back and maybe even bring back some of the background on the edges of the model to soften it up a bit more. So I'm going to click on the layer mask. Make sure the foreground is set to white so it's a reveal, to reveal parts of the image. Um, the brush, select the brush tool and maybe larger brush with about 65% hardness. And then I'm just going to go around the uh, model, it's revealing some of the background to soften the edges. Especially down here where most of it is gone, I'm putting it back. Just a little reveal. Like I said, I'm doing this quickly for the purpose of this video. When you're doing yours, just take your time. And that's it. Now, the next thing is to make this a double um, exposure image, you need to um, apply another image. So I'm going to apply this image. Um, this is the second image. Uh, to blend it with the first image, I'm going to set the um, um, blending mode to screen. Now I want that image to be black and white as well so I'm going to move the black and white layer above that image and that's that's looking good. Now I want to add a dab of color so what I'm going to do is I'm going to add above the black and white image I'm going to add this rectangular tool with an orange color you can any color you like and just select and just add it to part of the face. I'm going to blend that in with a soft layer. Now, as you can see, the edges of that tool is a bit harsh. I'm going to soften it up a bit. So I'm going to uh, add a layer mask to that uh, to that rectangular um, layer I added. Set the foreground to black. The brush, make it a large brush with a really soft edges, like maybe about you know, 35 and just clean up the edges so it, it's not doesn't look very harsh or too strong around the edges that's looking good now just to add a few more little dimensional things i'm going to add a few birds coming out of the head like that now these birds were uh, actually brushes i i bought, I bought in um, I'll I'll put the links 
in the description to show you where to get these brushes from and also just add a little bit more I'm going to add a uh, texture on top of the entire image so I'm going to uh, bring down the opacity of that texture sorry uh, bring that back up and click on the texture and bring down the texture to about 33 or 30 I can play around with the blending mode a bit more I'm going to probably go with multiply just to blend it a little bit more in there now I'll also place uh, uh, the link where I got these textures from in the description box now I'm going to add a bit more um, adjustments to this image by going down here and clicking on um, brightness and contrast maybe add, uh, increase the contrast a little bit more and bring down bring down the brightness a little on top of that I'm going to add a heavy saturation just a layer I'm going to bring up the saturation quite a bit and change the heavy just a little bit I'm going to bring up the saturation just a little bit more and, um, yeah, uh, that's about right. Add one more. I'm going to add, I'm going to add the uh, levels adjustment layer just so I can darken it up, up just a little bit more. That's it. Now I want to sharpen this whole image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the, the image one that I started with, hold down the shift and select the top, uh, the very top uh, layer and click on the top there. Now it's going to select all those images, all those layers, sorry. I'm going to put them into a folder. So I'm going to click down here to group and folder. I'm going to right click on that folder and duplicate the group again. Then I'm going to again right click and um, convert to smart object. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, set the blending mode to soft and go to filters, others, high pass. Yeah, I'm going to have the high pass to about 40. I can type it in here, make it 45 and click OK. So what that did was it actually sharpened the image. So if I, if I hide that high pass uh, layer, you see it's a little bit softer but when I enable it again or reveal it again it sees a bit more sharper well that was it um, don't forget to comment below and let us know what you thought of this uh, also don't forget to put links into your um, double um, double exposure images again if you're new to the channel please uh, hit that subscribe button and the uh, bell icon to be notified of more uh, videos I'm going to produce. Um, thank you for watching.